Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to all of you subscribers, the Legend Squad, everyone watching today's video. What's up? So, today's video is going to be very simple, but hopefully quite enjoyable and very interesting for you guys. So, basically, in a nutshell, I'm going to be showing you around the place that I live. So, if I'm not at my compound, riding woven, or all the cool places nearby, I'm here thinking about video ideas thinking about stuff to do for you guys, and ultimately thinking about biking. So, we can start things off. This is my bedroom where I sleep. I got a really cool photo on the wall that my girlfriend got sorted out, which is me in New Zealand. And let me think, right there, that's Queenstown in the corner. And this is a place called Coronet Peak. So that photo was taken by my mate Scott, who films a lot of the videos. He's a proper good lad, and he's a sick photographer. I think the most important place for you guys to hang out though and me talk about is my apartment garage which I've probably spent quite a few hours on now like I'm really really lucky I get bike parts and bikes and cool stuff most of the time for free and I've always had this dream this childhood dream of having it all in one place where I can look at everything at one time and that is here so you've seen this but there has been there have been a lot of changes around the place we have a new bike on the wall. My current jump bike's um, at a friend's house because I'm going riding today. So this is the Marin San Quentin. A completely new aggressive hardtail that I've been working with the brand on for over a year and it's finally gone into production. It's gonna be available within the next month, I think, which is exciting. So I'm just waiting on a few parts to build it up with like all my spec. So halo wheels, Maxxis tires, gusset components, that will make it mine, if that makes sense. They're the parts I want to run. But that's exciting. There's a whole new bike on the wall. That's a hardtail. I love hardtails. I grew up riding hardtails. Don't underrate a hardtail. They're unreal. Um, what else? I got this cool like muck-off mat to put down. Because when I clean my bikes, they come in like... Don't bully me, but this one definitely isn't clean. But they drip on the floor. I've got this protective mat in, which helps. But that's really cool. Cheers, muck-off. The Fox. Hang on, let me take this shell off. The Fox. RC car beast and there was a giveaway on my channel loads and loads and loads of people have commented who won the Traxxas Fox RC car I actually don't know I didn't choose the winner it was done through Ride Fox UK so they've chosen the winner and maybe they've been told maybe they haven't I need to find out so I'll actually find out the name for you guys because you could be watching and you could have won you don't even know so like more cool stuff back to the cool stuff so I, my most recent sponsor is Silverline and I've got like skill saws, jigsaws, drills. This is a cool little drill. I want to put Allen key attachments on that so you can like, when you're putting on your disc rotor, you can be really fast and just because isn't that one of the most tiring things, putting on a disc rotor with those tiny little Torx bolts. So there's loads. Of, I also have another couple of new checks. So that's my one from winning Rocket Air, which is like, probably one of my best results ever. That and winning Colorado Freeride Festival. And I got third at Bike Days, another little check in the corner. So, since you've last seen in here, I've got stuff on the wall from like my favorite comps, my best results. I've put my wheels on the wall and hang a couple of forks there. And my Max's tires are up in the corner. So I'm making better use of space in here. Obviously, most of the space is just purely Red Bull hats and helmets. Um, so, Super lucky to have this place kitted out. It looks really, 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 really cool. Um, but yeah, you've kind of seen this location. Uh, it is always changing. Oh, I wanted to talk to you guys about this. So on my dirt jump bike, I run really slick tires and because it's crankworks coming up and they're faster courses, they're kind of more loose, there's berms, I'm gonna put a grippy front tire on. So I'm gonna head over to the, the bike shop soon, probably today, put a grippy front tire on and make it tubeless because I don't want to wash out the front end and break both arms at the first crankworks because then it'll be back to square one. A bit morbid, but you never know. These risks, you do run these risks. So I think it's like, for a bigger course like that, it's time for a knobbly tire. But then I'm also scared on my pump track that I'll be running a knobbly tire and it might destroy it. Food for thought, maybe I haven't thought about this one. Would I rather get injured or would I rather ruin my pump track? Kind of on the fence with that one at the minute. Um, I've got, right. This is my signature, actually yeah, it's quite ironic I'm wearing a pink TSG t-shirt and this is my signature TSG jersey, which you can see me there on the label. 
which is quite cool. I've never had like a fully Siggy jersey before, but that's unreal. So that's the MJ1 TSG jersey. But I do generally ride in a t-shirt when I ride, but obviously on the enduro bike, riding downhill, I'm going to Whistler this year. It's going to be jersey weather. It'll be cool to wear a jersey. So that is the apartment garage, which is still the name that this place goes by. Let me know if you want to find out more about anything in particular. I don't think... Oh, there is something else new. These little puppies. So, you guys know that I run oval chain rings on all my bikes because I've talked about it in videos and it's something, because I'm quite a science geek, it's something I'm pretty stoked about. So, this is the latest from Absolute Black, which are cool blue oval chain rings. They're no different to all the others, other than this is like my signature chain ring because I wanted it to match my Alcatraz jump bikes. And my enduro bike, blue works well, I've got blue tie bolts. So, it's like a really, really cool anodized blue. It looks super sick. And it'll go on my jump bikes, my enduro bikes. Which brings me to a point that a lot of you, a lot of you people watching comment, which is, Matt, why do you run an oval chain ring on your dirt jump bike? We all know that that technology, if you're into mountain bikes, is for enduro bikes, road bikes. It's to get more out of your pedal strokes, to get a more efficient, pedal system on your bike. Why would you put it on a jump bike where you're not really pedaling a lot? Well, A, you do pedal a jump bike. Sometimes if you're going a bit too slow, last minute for a crazy trick, you'll put a quick pedal in. Why not get more out of that, even if it's once every week? But point number two, if I'm gonna run something on all my bikes that changes them completely, why wouldn't I run it on my jump bike, which I ride the most? So, it, what can I compare it to? It's like, playing golf, always with right-handed clubs, but then you get to the final putting green and you switch to a left-handed club, you just wouldn't do it. You want it all to be equal, all matching. That's important, so that's why I run oval chain rings on every single bike, fact. And this blue one does look the part, doesn't it? Very nice. Anyway, guys, that brings me on to like the open plan sort of kitchen, diner area, sofa, flat screen, Xbox. If anyone wants to add me on Xbox, please do, because I don't have many friends. It's right here, look, there we go. So, the main game I play is PUBG, Players Unknown Battlegrounds or something. If you want to add me on Xbox, it's Matt Jones, Matt Jones MTV, just like my Instagram. So if you type the same in as Instagram, add me and I'll hopefully play with you sometime, which would be quite cool, playing with the subscriber squad. So, what else we got? Kitchen, coffee machine, fridge, dartboard. We can see how we get on for anything. Fridge, what have we got? Bacon, bacon and eggs, red, oh, one Red Bull. There's only, need, to, need a resupply. Now, no Red Bulls in there, because I'm having that today. I've got many of my five a day. Bananas, apples, I am, after all, an athlete. Let's see if we can hit a bullseye. If I hit a bullseye first go, I'll give away my RC car. Oh, miles away. Better. Not very good at darts. As you can see, there's like a few holes where I've got really, really far away from the board. Not good. Um, so you see in bedroom, what else? Bathroom's quite funny because being an apartment, I don't have the biggest garage in the world. It's all stocked up in there. So in this bathroom, we've got all the normal things. Toilet, sink, bath, with a bike bag in it. <laughs> so if you want to have a bath, you've got to move the bike bag out of the way. But it just seems like the most obvious place to store a bike bag in the bath. And then the other thing I'm super lucky to have in this place is a cool balcony with an amazing view, which I've talked about before, but it's getting to that crunch time now where over there, why don't we put a big kicker on the end? I've talked about this before, but we put a massive ramp on it. There's such a long run up where you can pedal in and then pff, huge tricks. Massive tricks into the lake, upset all the neighbors, but it's better than getting a jet ski or something, but it would actually be sick. And I'm going, this summer I'm for sure putting a kicker on the end of that. I know how to build ramps. I could build one quite quickly. You probably have to screw it down, but you could do some pretty insane tricks. It would be funny to film it from here and just see the reactions of people not knowing what on earth is going on. So, um, 
that's kind of it, guys. What have we talked about? We've done most of the rooms, talked about cool bike stuff. After all, it is a bike channel. You want to know about bikes. But that is where I live. Add me on Xbox, <laughs> subscribe to my channel, play darts with me if you... Well, I'm, no, don't because I'm so bad. Um, and I'm just going to come back in here. It's just a better place to talk about and finish the video. I feel like I've missed some really important things, but I'll get back to that in the next one. If you've got any kind of questions about stuff in here, just fire away because I'll do another video. And also, why don't I do a video that's like a Q&A? So actually, yeah. So guys, in the comments, ask me questions about my life, my career, how I got here, where I'm going, how many times I go to the toilet every day. Just ask me loads of questions and I'll answer them in a whole video so i'll read the read the questions read the answers we'll do a bit of a q and a video something i've never done before and if there's enough comments which hopefully there is hopefully you're not bored of my life then we'll get right to it so comment away but as i always say you are the legend squad you're absolute legends every single person who watches my video motivates me to make more and be a youtuber and just be part of the gang it's really cool so thanks so much guys seeing more videos very soon might be here might be riding might be in my car but ultimately it's going to be videos shared with you guys so take it easy peace out legends